Pedagogy is the discipline that deals with the theory and practice of education, it thus concerns the study and practice of how best to teach. Its aims range from the general to the narrower specifics of vocational education. For example, Paolo Freire referred to his method of teaching people as critical pedagogy. In correlation with those instructive strategies, the instructor's own philosophical beliefs of instruction are harbored and governed by the pupil's background knowledge and experience, situation, and environment, as well as learning goals set by the student and teacher. One example would be the Socratic schools of thought. The teaching of adults, however, may be referred to as andragogy. History Johann Friedrich Herbart is the founding father of the conceptualization of pedagogy, or the theory of education. Herbart's educational philosophy and pedagogy highlighted the correlation between personal development and the resulting benefits to society. In other words, Herbart proposed that humans become fulfilled once they establish themselves as productive citizens. Herkbeschnism refers to the movement underpinned by Herbart's theoretical perspectives. Referring to the teaching process, Herbart suggested five steps as crucial components. Specifically, these five steps include preparation, presentation, association, generalization, and application. Herbart suggests that pedagogy relates to having assumptions as an educator and a specific set of abilities with a deliberate end goal in mind. Etymology and pronunciation The word comes from the Greek pi alpha iota delta alpha gamma omega gamma iota alpha, from pi alpha iota delta alpha gamma omega gamma omicron sigma, in which pi alpha sigma means child and gamma omega means lead, thus literally, to lead the child. It is variously pronounced peder di, peder o di, and peder i. Negative connotations have existed at least from the time of Samuel Pepys. Academic degrees. An academic degree, ped, d, doctor of pedagogy, is awarded honorarily by some U.S. universities to distinguished teachers. The term is also used to denote an emphasis in education as a specialty in a field. Pedagogues. The word pedagogue was originally used in reference to the slave who escorted Greek children to school. In Denmark, a pedagogue is a practitioner of pedagogy. The term is primarily used for individuals who occupy jobs in preschool education in Scandinavia. But a pedagogue can occupy various kinds of jobs, e.g., in retirement homes, prisons, orphanages, and human resource management. These are often recognized as social pedagogues as they perform on behalf of society. The pedagogue's job is usually distinguished from a teacher's by primarily focusing on teaching children life-preparing knowledge such as social skills and cultural norms. There is also a very big focus on care and well-being of the child. Many pedagogical institutions also practice social inclusion. The pedagogue's work also consists of supporting the child in their mental and social development. In Denmark, all pedagogues are trained at a series of national institutes for social educators located in all major cities. The program is a 3.5 YEAR academic course, giving the student the title of a Bachelor in Social Education. It is also possible to earn a master's degree in pedagogy, educational science from the University of Copenhagen. This bar and MA program has a more theoretical focus compared to the above-mentioned Bachelor in Social Education. In Hungary, the word pedagogue is synonymous with teacher, therefore, teachers of both primary and secondary schools may be referred to as pedagogues a word that appears also in the name of their lobbyist organizations and labor unions. However, undergraduate education in pedagogy does not qualify students to become teachers in primary or secondary schools but makes them able to apply to be educational assistants. As of 2013, the five-year training period was reinstalled in place of the undergraduate and postgraduate division which characterized the previous practice.